Bitcoin did a slight correction and some of the altcoins dropped 5-6%. But right now, what's interesting is this. The Bitcoin dominance trying to show us that it is about to make a double top. It is not confirmed yet, but while we look at large cap altcoins like XRP, it has already dropped 15%. The last correction was 15%. So we have a possibility that we may break back to the upside. So that's one, two, three to the downside. And if we break this trend line, we are starting the next rally in XRP. So as we zoom out, these are the levels which we are looking at. See, 0.58 obviously is going to be the next target which we have to break, after which 0.69 and higher. Fine. Right now, you go on a monthly chart and XRP does show you like we are almost getting close to what we call as a support, the monthly candle close. I strongly believe that's a huge level of support. If we hold that and bounce, that is going to be like this. You are following the exact history what we have seen last time. So that means you are going to see parabolic runs. But before that, you need to have a look at Ether. There is a short term pattern in Ether. That's exactly what's playing out. We talked about these possibilities in the market. Mm -hmm. Instead of this, it is playing out this one. But we already knew that the macro perspective is like this, right? You zoom out and you see this. So understanding the fact that the macro here in Ether is playing out as we expected means the altcoin market as a whole is going to play out in the similar way. Look at this range. It absolutely shows you the fact that it broke higher. It did consolidate in that region and now it's breaking to the upside. What does that mean? That's a reaccumulation zone, retest and a bounce. Historically speaking, you go back and you look at the same asset and you will see something similar in the history. So if that's the case, I think the market is up for a run. You break to the upside, you consolidate there and then you break higher. Now that does not mean every single day you are going to get 30% run. If you prepare yourself on a daily basis and go out there in the market, this is what you're observing. A continued trend to the upside with sideways action in between. So whenever you run up, you consolidate there. Then you run up, you consolidate there. So this is what we are going to look for as a trend line. And I think that's going to be healthy for us. Welcome to the Sinofic Investor family. Where the normal retail guys get to learn how to be the next top 10 person of this world. While we look at the macro, we see a lot of stuff happening. And now it's not only Saudi. You see Malaysia entering the same space with the same thought process. You already saw what India is doing. And I'm like, okay, that means a lot. Because China, Russia, you know, all of them were already in that spot. And a lot of big leaders were literally looking for what India is about to do and now we are observing even India is following that path but this is one of the video which actually got my attention I'm like I'm like okay even these old people can use this as user friendly that means yeah right now XRP I don't think we have a lot of this ability in the market but this is what's happening with Bitcoin and that actually is a positive thing for the entire market we have some of these happening that means you are now being focused or concentrated in a just one exchange which may not be good you may not have a lot of options but we do understand that this is happening and with the level of uncertainty which we are observing in the us i completely agree with eri and i'm like ah this is not really good right we need our freedom this is our money, what we are using in, but the way the governments are moving does not look good. And I'm like, I'm still surprised, like, you know, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Russia coming out and putting this one out. And I'm like, okay, that's like half a million followers and it seems legit. Wow, that means a lot because in the scenario which we are talking about, Malaysia going against this, China, Russia, India, you know, the macro scenario, it kind of boils down to that range showing, okay, US dollar may have some trouble. That means if your asset is priced in the United States dollar, you are about to make money. That's about to go lower. Now, 
we jump in here, we want to see like what exactly is XRP doing. Remember, on the macro, when you are looking at XRP, yes, this is true. But what we have to focus on is zoom in a little bit more and look at the real reference, which would be the moving average. Last time before we started moving up, this would be the candle. We st stayed about 13% above the moving average. So here we are. We are going to take the moving average towards the price. And we were close to 7%. So even shorter than this. We came even close to that. But at the bottom of this, we need to see like, okay, mm -hmm, at the bottom point, where were we? It was close, 9%. It's like 7 to 8%. That kind of gives us an thought process like okay maybe this correction is done now one of the things is like okay you can literally go on a short term and observe that and say okay that is a huge possibility but at the same time we also have to factor in the idea that okay right now on the Hikinashi you are still in red you haven't actually started turning positive so you literally have to break through to see like okay this is a 12 hour it is still holding a bow the moving, I mean, the daily is holding about the moving average and the 12 hour is starting to slow down because based on what Heiken Ashi does, the next candle opens here at the midpoint of the current candle, which means now you have a higher probability the next candle is going to be green. And that's what the four hour chart shows you. Now, if you are following the market on, on a short term basis, literally you are going into an hourly chart and what you want to observe here is the moving average on an hourly pointing you to the upside and moving to the upside so now the confusion can erase because we are inside this trend so the moment you break through this trend something is changing and that's exactly what we saw here right you had this trend line you broke that one you were giving the confirmation i'm tra traveling to the upside and there's an hourly chart right Literally, you'll observe like in a week, you have done entire run up. So that is what we are focusing on. On the macro, there's something I want all of us to keep in mind. We did a run up. Mm -hmm. We are now in that corrective mode. We need to burst through the 0.58 level. That's why I was saying like, okay, that is going to be an important level. But once we take this off to see what exactly the market is doing it kind of gives us a picture like okay we broke to the downside so we zoom in we need to see like okay where that level of breakout was what the market did so this is clearly support resistance balancing you look at this okay we had this level we broke down we came back we retested that level we got rejected next level is this right now the market as we talk is retesting this range which means if we see a break to the upside, now that means, okay, we are going to test 0.52. So that's going to be the next level of resistance. After which, you know, you can actually argue one point like, okay, we have this level, but at the same time, you also have to keep in mind that was a trend line resistance. So if it's me, I would plot it like this and say, by the time you break this level, you already broke that one. So you are now literally looking at the 0.58 zone to break through. Because recently what we've been observing in XRP, now this is a short term chart, but it goes back to what Bitcoin was doing in the last market cycle. See, you go in the Bitcoin side, you want to look at the macro and you want to see like the last market cycle, not this market cycle, the last market cycle, what Bitcoin did. It moves up, consolidates. It moves up, consolidates. So you are not literally getting these kind of giant movement to the upside. You're making a trend, slowly grinding higher, making a trend, slowly grinding higher. So you need patience because the number of days taken to reach the all-time highs is longer. So you need way more patience than before. Imagine from here to here, that was like 800 days. Yes, the price actually went sky high, but how many of us really have the patience to go through a 800 days bull market? Yes, it did a 95x. But the question is, do you have that level of patience if the market decides to do something like that? But for me, I'm looking at this and saying like, okay, mm -hmm, that means that 863 days was for the entire run to the upside. Right now, we have completed wave one and wave two. So we are going for wave three. So it's going to be like the last portion of this rally. Even in that case, what we are observing is this range. 
It's around like 200 days for the wave 3 and like wave 1 you got that, wave 2 you got that, wave 3 you got that. That's kind of the breakout structure which we got there from the accumulation. But if we take that scenario here and argue that point, I think it still is healthy because I don't think Bitcoin is going to 250, 300,000 and all. I'm looking for something like 95, 100, 125. That itself would be like astronomical gain considering you started this market cycle at $3,000, close to that. So that's actually a huge rally in Bitcoin. And we also factor in that other assets are right now showing the potential of breaking higher and running higher. Because on the macro, what we're observing, we have a clear idea. We had this resistance, we broke higher, we came back, we retested that, we bounced. That is strong for Bitcoin itself. Now we are observing something similar in the macro structure for a lot of different assets. So here what we are observing is Ether which we usually look for the entire market because when ETA shows you a breakout and run up higher, you kind of get the idea. Yeah, the market went up, it came back down, hit a couple of trend lines. One is the breakout and retest, two is this level. Then you started bouncing back. Now, the question is, you go into the ETA right now on the RSI and you see the three day pointing you to the upside. Great, okay. Then you go on to the daily to see what the trend is daily shows i'm trending to the upside so i'm like okay even the short term scenarios are showing you it is moving to the upside with uh, aggressive range which is positive for the entire altcoin market and that's why we actually see some of these altcoins which were slowing down are now starting to get momentum some of the others are taking off we just saw that right we are following some of these coins and they have the momentum, right? So if you are looking for all these updates in a different manner with explanations highlighting all this, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. So while we look at the market and try to understand like, okay, yes, this is the altcoin market. This is what we are observing, the short term. We know that we are trying to break higher through this level, which Ether has already done. So the chances are higher for the entire altcoin market to do this. This is the exact same pattern which we discussed here, but Ether actually did this one at the top, whereas entire altcoin market did the one in the bottom. Both of them are kind of similar, but you get the point. You did this, you come back here and then bounce off. Now when you're breaking through this level of resistance, keep in mind, you have a rally, but it's not like a 100x rally right now. It's like six to 8% run up, which would, slowly show you that now this is the actual area we, we all should focus on that breaks this level of resistance where you have an inverse head and shoulder for which the measured move is like 37 percent now then you zoom out to see that okay when that 37 percent materialized where are you great at that point you already got the reversal of the double bottom and you broke higher that exactly is what we want to see the market executing on a regular basis. But this is going to take patience. This is going to take discipline. Because even though we know this is going to happen, remember, it took a week to materialize. So not a lot of people were able to stay alive. If you go leverage like 20, 50, 100x, it's going to be hard because the market is volatile. It actually does a lot of these wicks, which is strange. It kicks you out and then go back to a target. So right now, okay, great. Right now, as we talk, the scenario which we discussed earlier, saying, okay, this is a possibility. I think this is going to break higher here. Is materializing. Now, what does that mean? Now, your next range, now this is a horizontal support level basis. So if you are focusing on the trend line basis, more or less, you are looking for something like this. Great. Now we are going back to retest that level. So that is a healthy signal from the market for XRP. Let me go back here. Remember, there was a time when we did this breakout to the downside. Even though we broke this level first, we came back below that to consolidate before we ran back up. So that was close to 0.44. XRP went up to 0.58. Now these are not the big numbers like, you know, the 10,000, 100,000 XRP, what we're talking about. This is the reality. We are looking for the genuine facts and data from the market. And the market is showing us like, okay, we are starting to do something. We are starting to literally observe something. On a 12-hour chart, we observe like the price action is trying 
to get back above the moving average. So right now it's a retest of the moving average because you broke that. But by the time you get back above the moving average, now things have changed. It's becoming more and more bullish because on the higher time frame structure, the daily, if we get a candle which actually goes up by at least 0.51, say 0.52, that level is going to be super bullish because now that happens to be a reversal signal. And if it closes a little above that level, that's an engulfing candle. And we know what exactly happened after we got this engulfing candle with this range. Yes, it took like three, four days of patience, but then it bursted off. So you may need patience to see this asset popping in coming weeks. If you received value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.